again we are back with the <clears throat> so sorry with the um shop goodwill box um from Reading, pennsylvania sorry excuse me it's about 26 26 ish pounds full of fun jewelry i've gotten lots of great watches some really great necklaces and bracelets a lot of tangles some very interesting earrings so far and of course this a couple of hair thingies that i'm not going to sell <laughs> and my craft lot pile is getting kind of big please do excuse my voice i've been my voice has been in and out the past couple of days and right now it seems to be okay but we'll probably catch every now and again sorry about that i hope we can power through let's get started <laughs> too much. That's not a thing. Grabbing too much. I think this will be the pile for this video though. For reference, this will be video number three of the Reading, Pennsylvania Shop Goodwill box. I'm all hot after doing that. I gotta take my cardigan off. <laughs> Ooh, central air. You gotta love it. Okay, let's get going. Now this watch on top here, you can already tell it's got a busted bit of a busted. They tried to fix it with a staple. You can't do that. You gotta use like leather glue and shit and stuff. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but it is cracked too. That's too bad. Hmm. Yep. I won't put that in the lot, but I am going to see if I can read the, what kind it was. Hmm. Pierre Nickel. He can't move the second hand, so I can't tell. That's too bad, though. Meh. Oh, well. Win some, you lose some. Here is a Forever 21. Very shiny choker. You can tell right there, it's a choker. It's got this circle right there. How much do they want for it? $5.90. Nah, that can go to a lot, too. Um... This is locked up in this. Okay. We had this earring in the last video. We've got this little choker necklace thingy with the with the pearls and the silver beads and this little hangy heart thing. Oh, and I had it on the wrong side. This one has little crystals all over. Is missing a couple. I could fix that if I want to sell it. And I might actually do that. I don't know. We'll stick it in the fixie pile and deal with it later. Oh boy. St. Patrick's Day Mardi Gras beads. It's just a little felt hat. It's cute though, with the ribbon and the little gold thing. To the lot. This is fun. It's a gold clamp bracelet with the enamel waves, and this is a Sarah Coventry. you see in there? Sarah Coventry. Awesome. Definitely so. Here's another watch. This is another Seiko. Matic Lady watch. It's very small. I'm thinking maybe like that we had another very small watch. I may have had a few watches from the same thin-wristed lady. Ouch. Yeah, I'm gonna hurt myself putting this on. <laughs> That's pretty, though. Oof. There we go. Seiko watch. Let's get this wire thing out of the way. Let's see. Now, it's also tangled up in this gold chain, naturally. Not too badly, though. 
Now, I'm recording this later at night to reduce the amount of interruptions I've been having, but I have had to send some children back up to bed a few times because they keep coming downstairs when they know they're not supposed to. That's kind of nice. My office is right here next to the staircase, so they come down like they're sneaking, but they're like a thundering herd of elephants. They don't know how to be stealthy. <laughs> So I catch them, send them back to bed. It works well. Okay, so we've got this lovely little gold chain. <clears throat> and it has these plastic beads. They're like red and black swirls with a little bit of white. It's all right. It's kind of boring. I'm not going to sell that one. Let's take a peek at the huge watch. This is water resistant quartz movement and it is has a nice leather simulated leather back and it appear, doesn't appear to have a brand but that's kind of interesting it looks like those the hands probably glow in the dark and the second hand too fun we'll see maybe watch pile ooh pin pile aw look at it it's a little birdie pin, so it would just sit like that. And he's missing an eyeball. Are you marked? I do not see a mark. Since there's no mark or provenance or anything, I'm going to go ahead and maybe dig out that other red eye and maybe give him some blue eyes. I have some blue gems. That would be really cute. Fix it pile. Here's a jingle bell ring. Very cute. Who's there? Go back up, please. <laughs> da, 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 da. Okay. Okay, so this is a trumpet. Very strange. <laughs> with some little gold. Not with the <laughs> it's a gold trumpet with pink little jewels. It's a little pin. Hmm. Not well done, you know, it's very crude. Here's a Monet earring. Little clamp, a little clip on. Here we have a gold tone chain. And at the end, we've got this little leaf. Probably just a maple leaf. Maybe, I might sell that. Here is that wire chain I've been looking to get to. There it is. It's cool. It's pretty. If I can get it untangled and back to its original shape, I'll probably end up selling that. That's nice. If I can get it clean. The cord is dingy too. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> it's cute. Okay, we've got a gold chain with little heart and jewels, heart and jewels. Oh, and they're graduated. See that smaller, that's bigger. Back to the smaller. And then around there, no markings. Just a little gold necklace. What's it just like that? Cute. Sure, I might sell that. Very yellow. Fossil Chronomaster. It's the back of a fossil watch. Put that to the side. How about this watch? Ooh, this is cute. Colesier. Colesier. <laughs> That's definitely a mother of pearl face. Pretty little stretch band. It's dirty, I can clean it, but it's in good shape otherwise. Yeah, we can sell that for sure. Ah. This needs a pendant. I have lots of pendants. It's in good shape. A little like waxed cord. You know, just this little dude over here. 
and it says ATI China 925. Nice. I'll test it, of course, but it, it needs a nice, like, chunky pendant. Like that one I got before, what did I do with it? Yeah, this was a couple of videos ago in the Long Beach box. Who's there? Go back to bed, please. That might look good on it. Let's figure that out. It's got the chunk factor, you know? That would look really good. Okay, excuse me while I... Okay, this says R and G on this little gold tone bracelet. And it says Spidel USA. Cute. Well, we see if anybody is collecting those little charms or the little engraved initials on that kind of a bracelet. What, Lori? What'd you see? Nori, said, Nori suddenly has a, she's in huntress mode. She may have seen a fly. You live in the country, you get flies. Like she ever catches them, but hey, go for it, Nori. Okay, so this is a eh, poor condition clasp on some boring black plastic beads. Meh. Mardi Gras beads. Stars and Stripes. Russ Berry and Company out of Oakland, New Jersey. Can't go wrong with a little flag pin. This is something off of something. Yeah, it was a fly. It's a big one, too. That'll be a delicious snack for her if she catches it. Oh, and there's a moth, too. <laughs> it's like Jungle Safari in my office right now. Oh, that's a pretty moth. Okay. Wow, that is dirty. Is it supposed to be smoky? Cause it doesn't look, it looks dirty. All the pieces are there. Set it to the side. What's this? Oh, it's like a rancher or shepherd and there's his little collie. You can tell cause the, snout, the snout's really long. It's definitely a collie. Oh, and it's a, it's a cufflink. How cute is that? And this is by Sarah Coventry. Cool. It's a really cool cufflink. There's an Energizer battery. That's probably the old one. So we're going to put that away. Thank you. There's that. I have a match for that one. Here's a Fitbit. A Fitbit um, skin. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not going to sell those either. Okay, who's this? Oh, Lori's trying to get them off. This is really funny. She hardly ever hunts. Okay, that's pretty. Little gold earring. We've got a TC. TTTC. Little dangle for something. Who knows? Here is the match to that one I found a minute ago. Does not want to go the right way. There it goes. Boing. Interesting. Big. There's something big. Boing. <laughs> this is a little set of earrings. They are clip ons and they are just marked China. All right, I'm gonna put those in the lot there. Bright and big, but light and cheap, you know? Okay. Here we go, these are twist tied together. A couple little funky beads. Is that oblong, not oblong, that rectangle gold again? I trip over my words more often than not. Sorry guys. This is a T, a T pin, or is it an F? Could be an F. Looks more like an F than a T. Not marked. 
I don't think I'll sell it. Now this, I will sell. This is awesome. Look at that. That's awesome. What a fun bracelet. And this, this is just, um, again, like waxed cord. Silver, enamel, silver, enamel. That's cool. I love that color. Oh, and it says S-I or L-S. It's L-S probably. It's probably Leah Sophia. Hmm. Neat. Hair. 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 Earring. Did you catch it? Did you catch it? You hear chirping at it? This is gonna destroy my bracelet piles. Here he is. Come here, little moth. Oh no, he's safe up here now. Come here. Oh, did you see him? <laughs> oh my goodness, that's too funny. Too funny. All right, let's keep going. Little gold hoop with a little faux pearl. Let's get some big stuff out. Hey, look, a monkey. Oh, it's part of a best friend charm. This is best. I wonder where its friend is. To the lot. Okay, this is an earring. It's a shiny gold one. It's a little scratched up. Here's a funky, funky necklace. Belongs to somebody. Looks like a New York and company. Very fungy. I like that. Got a bunch of shells and different beads, and it's kind of asymmetrical and cute and fun. I will sell it. This here is a little bracelet. Silver tone. And it has a ship. Is that a ship? Yeah, that's a ship. It's got a ship scene on it. The little cab. That's cute. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> a lot of long necklaces in this box. Now, this one is stuck naturally. Always stuck. Mmm, it's raining. I love when it rains. Now this does, oh, this does have a clasp. Good. Okay, now we're gonna cheat and get it off of here the easy way. Hmm. Here we go. Wow. Haven't seen Nori so intent on anything in a long time. She's kind of a lazy kitty. But yeah, she's after whatever that is over there. Because the moth is over here now. I don't know. I'm going to stop narrating her hunt. These are neat. These are... They clink like glass. They're some nice glass beads. I mean, the cord is kind of... The cord is kind of dirty. These are neat though. I really like these. They clean up or replace the clasp. Yeah, that's neat. I like it. Okay. Here is a big old heart on a silver chain. It's kind of nice. Not marked, but it's also kind of in poor shape. It's very dirty there. Yeah, I'm gonna lot that too. Boring earring. <laughs> this is a drop, this is a glass one. Wow, that's cool. I like that. Here are just some charms. Here is a twisty tie. Here is a tie tack, it's a big old pearl. Wow. Big old pearl tie tack. Nice. Um, oh yeah, this one right in front of my face. Needs to be fixed. It shouldn't be too hard. Okay, and this has one, two, three clasps. 
Why would it have three clasps? Maybe so you could wear it as a necklace like that. And then maybe as a shorter choker necklace. And then maybe as a bracelet or something. I have no idea. I'll put that in the fix it pile and figure it out. But these are just plastic beads, but it's cool. It's kind of fun. I'm going to change my mind in real time. <laughs> See you later. Do the lot. I have I have so many projects over there. Hmm. Ouch, that's a pin. Ouch. Hey, I got one of these in the my first box, and my first box was from Reading. So I don't know. We got a little collection of little Pikachu's. Hmm. Here's a clip on. It's a very cheap clip on. Yeesh. Look at that. I don't like that one bit. Not tight or anything. Huh. These little flowers. All bronzy toned flowers. Hmm. Oh, this is cute, but it's very dingy and yucky and sticky almost, you know? Yeah. Here's another watch. Timex Expedition. Hmm. Indiglo. The band's in pretty good shape. A little crack right there, but it's not too bad. We'll see about that. Mm -hmm. Haven't had a bangle in a while. All right, what do we pull out of here? Let's do this one first. It's a toggle clasp, heavy silver tone chain. No markings. be interesting for something. Put that in my chain pile. This is a nice ring. That's cool. I got another pair of clip-ons. Let's figure out how they work. Oh. Nope, that's not how it works. We've got one clip-on here. That's not a clip-on. That's a, oh, it is a clip-on. There we go. Boink. That way. Sorry. Clip on earring goes that way. Here we have, this is a magnet, so it was stuck to this little earring back. It's off of something else. And then this guy, oh crap, I forget what this is. It's like, it's just like a magnet earring. Ooh, what was that? Did you see the steam, that, not the steam, but the dust that came off of that? it's a magnet and it clasps and I think it just clasps over your necklace yeah I've got a few of these I'll have to mag I'll have to glue that magnet back in if I want to have it I think we've got we're dealing with more magnets over here okay here we go okay so this is the same kind of thing it has extra pieces of magnet in it they have like, ugh, like metallic dust on them too. So that would go in there and clip to that if it were strong enough. It's not, that's weird, okay, whatever. <laughs> Here, pretty sure that's simulated. Yep, it's a simulated, but it's, I think it's supposed to look like lapis. But it's simulated and dirty. Oof. Put that over there. I need a baby wipe. Baby wipe. Fresh one. Ugh. Gross. Sometimes they just get so dusty and gross. Okay. This purple thing is a chunky plastic stretch bracelet. It's lost its stretch. And those are fun beads. Those will be enjoyed by somebody. This matches those earrings. Does it not? Or was that a necklace? It was a necklace. Somewhere. Did I put it in the fix pile? I don't know, but that needs a new, that needs to be strung. Restrung. Okay, this we've got a beautiful, kind of dingy silver chain that's worn out on the lobster clasp. 
And the pendant is also pretty worn out. The finish coming all off and it's got this pretty stone though. Wonder if a crafter can save it for something. Yay! The other poinsettia earring. Good. Good, those are pretty. Lots of pink. Let's get the pink. Okay. These are plastic. Cufflinks, let's set that to the side. Okay. This is a long chain of plastic beads. There is a lobster clasp here. That's pretty. I'll probably I'll try to sell that. We'll see. Ugh. Poor poster board. Bing. Here's a cufflink. It's got the enamel, the black and the red, with the silver surround. This is another Sarah Coventry. That's very cool. Oh, I got the match to this little teeny tiny earring. More hair. This is a rose twist on, twist back earring. It's very worn out. We'll wait for its mate. Here's another one of these bracelets that I don't like. Hmm. It's just a little pointy, pointy one. Shiny little open work butterfly. Kind of cute. And the back, the back says something here. Do, do. I always check these little guys. They always, sometimes they say things. Oh. One slash twenty twelve K G G F. It's twelve karat gold filled, or at least the back says it is. Interesting. Hmm. Here we have. Like a little charm bracelet. It's got two lobster clasps on it. Probably just an extender. It's got foil. This is a little rondelle with blue beads. I don't think so. It's not a Pandora or anything. All right. Earring. Oh boy, <laughs> I was not expecting that. I was not expecting the tassel. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is very long and ends in a tassel. And there's no clasp, but it's got these fun carved beads. It's on a stretchy rope too. These are, these are real stone here. These are plastic, and I think these are glass. Yeah, they tink like glass. It's kind of cool. Not marked anywhere, but it's super neat. Somebody's gonna like those beads because I'm not gonna sell a necklace like that. What else do we have? I'm confused. We have so many of these right now. <laughs> this is like the third one I've found. Here is some fun little enamel triangle, little gold triangle. We've got a plastic shell. Here is the other clip-on blue one, but this one's silver. Oh no, these are different. Similar, but different. Hmm. We got a little pink bracelet. I think those are just plastic. Lot. What's this? Happy birthday. Another keychain. This is nice. 
This is glass, like an artisan glass piece. Oof, that's gonna suck. Okay, here's a little gold chain. Doesn't say anything, but it's in good shape, so we'll put it in the chain pile. Ooh, colorful, look at that, wow. Got these little dangly hammered discs. This fun little bead and some shell and some wood bead. This is very neat. There's a missing piece of it. So that'll go to the lot. Someone will adore the beads. Well, that looks interesting. I've got a little walrus looking at me right now. <laughs> I'll get him out in a minute. Okay. Here is a stretchy rubber chain. I can't, oh gosh, I'm losing my mind. But yeah, this is a glass pendant and a chain. I'm gonna put it in the pendant pile on chain. I'm gonna get that rubber thing off of it. I got a lot of those pendants. I might lot them up and make a little glass artisan pendant lot. Now this is a New York and Company. Again, see? New York and Company. We should be well familiar with them. And I like it, but the finish is coming off these dyed pearls. <laughs> dyed shells, excuse me. And yeah. It used to be cute, but I'm not gonna sell it in that condition. This is fun. Ooh, that's lots of fun. Look at that. Party earring. Mm-hmm. I hope we find the mate. That's cute. This one's dirty. Ugh. This is a pin that is missing some rhinestones. It is not signed, so I'm gonna put it in the lot. I could easily fix that, but... Oh, yay, the earring. We have a necklace with a little pendant just like this and another earring, so that's really pretty. That should sell nicely. Here's a clip-on. It's got this backing here. Huh. Oh, it's signed inside? It is. Let me take a peek. Patent. I can't get in there enough. Oh, it says 965. One, oh, 1967965. Patent number? All right. That's odd. Designer shoe clips. Cute. <laughs> Made in China. Cute, but I don't think I'm going to sell shoe clips. Okay, let's get this little wall friendly walrus out. We want to see what he looks like. <laughs> I think I might be making it worse. Oh no. Okay, he's coming. Okay, he's a cute little charm bracelet with his little drop beads. And this adorable little walrus. Oh, good. He's like, hello. I'm the little friendly walrus. He's adorable. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe pile. I'm not sure. Okay. Jiggle it. See what falls out. <laughs> now, that stuff is kind of a knot, so we'll go with this stuff for the minute, for the moment. Oh, I've got the other one of that. It's a funky shape. It's a very cheap little plastic ring. Here's another necklace enhancer. Here is a plastic cameo. Hello. No plastic cameos, please. 
Here's a big old pewter statue. It's got little gold wings, and it says something here, but I can't really make it out. Camco. Little Camco pewter statue. Cute. Now put him with my pewter penguin I got a while back. Up a Christmas tree brooch. I think I have the same exact one. I think I do. Pin pile. Earring. Ooh, I'm missing like big pearls or something. Oof. Nah, lot of you. Closine. How cute is a little bird? Pretty flowers. That's nice. I love Closine. I will definitely clean that up. Get it sold. What is this? It's a little spoon. It's a teeny tiny spoon. Maybe a pendant. If I can get that cleaned up. Maybe. I don't think I'll do that though. This one is stuck here. There we go. We've got this dangly fun earring. We've got another tie tack that is missing its little bar. It has the letter U on it. I love the lot. <clears throat> it's a beat up white button earring for the lot. Alrighty, here's a choker style necklace with a cross on it. It's in good condition. I've got a lot, I have a lot of chokers. Well, a lot of chokers for a lot of chokers. I'll probably look at that. Taco clasp, homemade, hand beaded. This is stone? Yeah, it's a stone. No, these are sharp. These little crystals are always so sharp. Here we have a pendant of the crucifix. It's dirty. This is one of those sticky chains. And it looks interesting, but it's sticky and kind of cheap so that's the lot too this is fun is that adventuring adventuring i'm gonna have to look up this gem because oh that's gorgeous nice and cold what a pretty stone looks like we got a similar bracelet here it's a little bit brighter in the Stones are a little bit larger. Oof, those are gorgeous. Let's set those aside and look them up. Pretty. Is that fun party bead from before? We got that one. I don't think we have this one yet, but it'll drop faux pearl. Here is a clip on. Kind of enamel swirl. Looks like those other beads, but I don't know. Here's a an earring, gold tone with black. Little bead drop. So colorful. I like that. Here's an earring, red enamel with gold. Unsigned. Here's another bracelet. Shiny, shimmery, pretty, but I'm, eh, I'm not feeling it. That's a cheap bangle. There's another paper bead. Here's another fun dangly earring. Here is a key. These are pretty common for something. Luggage, maybe, like a luggage key. It says something on the thing. Ball chain. Mount Vernon, New York. 
Hmm. Well, I don't need a key, but maybe somebody can craft with it. Oh, a baby buggy. They have the same, almost the same exact one, and it's missing the same exact stone. And the one I found earlier, a few boxes back, was a 925, and it said so inside the cradle. But I'm not seeing that here. Maybe we'll test it anyway. Um, very fun party dangle. Hmm. This is a pretty one. Pretty bracelet with lots of rhinestones. Let's see if they're all there. Do, 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 do. What do you want to bet? Do, 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 do. They're all there. That's nice. I'll sell that. I hear frogs outside. <laughs> so cute. This is a cheap little black earring encrusted with cheap little gems. There's a little hoop. Here is some more dangly hoop. Ooh, those gems look good. Hmm. Pretty earring pile. Here's another cross. Earring. Ooh, look at the color of that. Nice. That's a real stone. If you haven't heard me say it before, when I take something off screen like that and say it's a real stone or not a real stone, I'm putting it against my cheek because it's, I can't trust my fingers after handling everything and I get a better feel for it, whether it's a real stone staying cold on my cheek. So that's where I do it. <laughs> oh boy. Here's an earring. Here's a... I was gonna say it's a barrel clasp, but it's not. It's just like a connector of some kind. That's bright. Mood ring. Look how happy I am. <laughs> it turned blue so quick. Oh, wow. I love mood rings. I might keep this. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Silver earring. Here is a faux pearl necklace. Meh. Here is a, <laughs> it's a textile flower earring. Interesting. Here's a little piece off of something that's all broken. That's too bad. It's an earring back. You can always use more earring backs, right? Sure. Per a uh, stud. <laughs> Nice, simple. Yeah, I like simple, but classy earrings like that. So pretty. Here's a little angel with a heart, a green heart. Ooh, the wind is blowing. It's just on a nice little chain. And the chain says 925. So that will go to test. Does the angel say 925 anywhere? I don't know, but I'll test her too. Nice. And then another stud. And then this wicked cool thing. That's cool. That's really cool. I like that. I like the shape of it. Okay. So here is a... It's a little sizey watch. Okay. My eyesight is awful. Is it Pierre Nickel? Maybe, but that's fun. That's cute. Sell. Mmm. Oh no. Oh my gosh, I'm so cute. And I'm a sucker for owls. They are so flippin' cute. I love it. Hmm. Hmm. I love listening to the frogs outside when it's all rainy. Love living in the country. 
There was a sweet little toad in our garage today. My husband came for me to go and get it. That little thing just like scrabbled away because he's on the um, concrete floor of the garage and he's just, he's not fast and he's definitely not graceful at all. But yeah, he went across that floor and I lost him underneath one of the shelving units. So hopefully he finds his way outside. Hmm. Well, something must have called him into the garage. I just hope the dog doesn't get him. Because that would not be fun to clean up. This sweet little toad is like that big. <laughs> so cute. Mm. And I love catching frogs. Teach my kids how to be gentle and let them go. Like you hold it for a minute, then let it go gently. Another Layla Row piece is in here somewhere. <laughs> okay, so. I've been trying also to teach them not to kill spiders. Because spiders are good little buddies to have in the house. They eat all the ucky bugs like mosquitoes. I hate mosquitoes. God, a couple years ago, our mosquitoes were so bad. It was like September and it, it was a little cool. And then it was, it rained a ton and then it was super hot. And the mosquitoes were just clouds and clouds and clouds of mosquitoes. And have you ever seen a galley nipper? A galley nipper mosquito. It's like the size, it's bigger than the size of a quarter. This thing is a monster. I have a picture of one. <laughs> I can't promise I'll remember, but maybe I'll put it up here. Freak you out on my jewelry channel. Huh? That'd be fun. <laughs> oh, galley nippers. Yuck. Almost got it. Mm. Do not like mosquitoes. Man. <laughs> it's like, how much time do I want to invest in this? We'll go to this side and see what comes out. Okay. Here is a silver tone chain. It's a nice looking chain. It's like bigger links, and then it's got this funky thing. I'm a cross and an M. Hmm. Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. Hmm. Okay. No, I'm... Yeah. I won't go into it. Okay. This is pretty. Look how pretty that crystal is. Goodness. The chain is just delicate enough for it. I love that. I will sell that. Boink. This monstrosity. Ah, that had a lot of things in it. It's a pin. Sarah Coventry. I'm not missing anything. Cool. Pin. Okay. Do think we're getting somewhere, maybe. Hmm. It's a gold chain. The chain is not marked, and it's not bent or anything. It's in good condition, so I'll keep that in the chain pile. Hey, if anybody needs a chain, let me know. Okay, this comes over here, and this comes out here. Here is our sweet little owl. Big, long, like antique bronze, antiqued bronze chain. Nice lobster clasp, and this is our little friend. Sweet little aqua color cab right there. No markings or anything, but he's adorable, so I will sell it. Um. <laughs> and this is what we're going to do right now, because this is what I want to do. <laughs> okay, so this little necklace. Silver tone chain. It's all right, I guess. 
And then this little charm on the end, it's kind of worn out. Doesn't have any maker. Yeah, I'll put that in the lot too. They can have that chain too. Mm. Okay, this is a necklace. Hmm. It's this lovely shell one that won't let go of anything. I want to be best friends. Hmm. It's actually been kind of easy to get off of here, but it is twisted with absolutely everything. Wow. Okay. Let's take a peek at you. That's fun. I need to stop doing that. Okay. Yeah, that's fun. Got a barrel clasp. It appears to be handmade, hand strung. I think it's just different enough to sell that. Very blue. I like the blue. It's cute. <laughs> Do -do. Who is this? This matches those earrings. Or that necklace that I rejected a minute ago. <laughs> yeah. It does, it's a bracelet. There, the bracelet that belongs to this that I rejected. So let's keep the little boogers together. So we clasp the bracelet to the necklace and they stay together. Nice, okay, I still don't want it. Okay, what have we got here? We got some fun little beads. Mm -mm. And these beads do not have a clasp, so we're going to have to see what's up with this. And then we go back to this one. Nope, that's not going to do either. This is missing a big chunk of something. Wow. Yeah. That is a super long silver tone chain with a really nice little grabby claw clasp and it is missing whatever was in there. I wonder what it is. I'll set it aside and see if it turns up. Hmm. This is like the worst of all the worlds. Like <laughs> we've got the serpentine chain, we got the fine chain, we got the beaded chain, we've got more beaded chain, we got leather, more fine, more fine chain. So this one belongs to this one. Ooh, look at that. Okay, we got that out. Ooh, that's nice. Gold tone with the tassel on the end. Not marked or anything, but that's gorgeous. I really like the tassel. Is that a cat or a boy? It sounds like a boy. Who's there? Mm, he's not going to confess to who it is, even though I could get up and look. But I'm not going to because I like this jewelry. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it's missing a piece. Maybe it'll turn up. But this is Chaps, which is a Ralph Lauren brand. You can find at Kohl's. <laughs> yeah, it's just missing one little cab. And they're in varyingly good to bad condition. Hmm. Yeah, they're a little worn down. 
It's cute, I like that kind, but with that missing and then the wear on them, I'm not gonna sell that. Um, ooh, boom. <laughs> this is a gold tone. My hands are getting dirty and this one is dirty, I think too, so. It's a gold tone with a toggle. No marks or anything. Nah, I don't like it. Okay, so. I think that boy went upstairs. Okay, what are we doing here? Oh, see, no. It's always a surprise when you find out that there's two leather straps leather thingies attached to two seed bead ones and it's just just a terrible terrible joining of things <laughs> oh man let's look over here so sorry if i'm boring you but it's the end of the video and yeah, i do what i want Ooh, tie tack for that tie tack for that um cufflink that we found earlier. Come on, buddy. Hmm. Come on. Come on, sweetie. Come out of there. I know you like to be wrapped in leather, but you gotta come out and be classy now. Okay. Come on out. Almost there. There we got him. See? And we've got the cufflink over here. Now we just have to find the other cufflink. And this elm is a very classy little set. All right. I haven't shifted in my chair in a while. Ooh, my back. <laughs> now, I have discovered that this necklace giving me all the trouble is from American Eagle. And it's messed up with these beads as well. Hmm, and then this long strand. Okay. Let's see. What's gonna do what? Okay, here's the end of this one. And that's a lost cause. Where's the other end? <laughs> Where's the other end? Oh, popped it right out. Check that out. Wow. Okay. Still has a problem. Still stuck with something here. Is that part of it? It is part of it. Oh, I thought this was a separate necklace. I guess not. Cool. So this is almost hanging straight. Emphasis on the almost. Hmm. Okay, we gotta manipulate that a little bit. Then this goes under this, but this has to go out of this first, and this one is wrapped with that. <laughs> shoot. Oh, shoot. Well, I think we get a general idea of what this one looks like. I'll put it in my untangle pile and do it later. American Eagle. If it looks nice when I'm done, I'll sell it. <laughs> Off to the side. Now let's get this. Okay. Tangled in and of itself. pillows kicking in. <laughs> I took my meds before I started doing this. All right, got it. This is quite lovely. There, 
we did it. This one anyway. This is the um, Layla Row one. It's got nice little black teardrops and a dark silver tone chain. There. That's lovely. Yes. <laughs> And I'll just be stubborn with this one for just a few more minutes, I think. Okay, you come here. Thank you. And then we've got this raveled up. Okay. That and that. Hmm. I'm making it worse. Okay. So, these do that. This has to go through this. I'm fairly certain this is the biggest problem right here. Okay, so, if we have the strands relatively straight, Relatively, you know, that's minor over there. This goes here under this one. And then we want to get some more out of this central knot, which includes this one. Oof, what is going on? Okay, I think this one has all four going through it. We take that out and check it out again. We got all four and they are going through this one like that. Cool. Then it's almost completely straight. Almost. <laughs> okay, and this now is just itself twisted up. Over this one, this one goes through it, does it? Something's happening. Something's happening and I can't figure it out. <laughs> okay, so this one, this one. We twist it like that. Maybe we can see what the problem is. Like. Huh. Okay, we got something there. Did we do it? Nope. <laughs> this is one last thing and I don't... Oh, sorry, I bumped it. This is one last thing. And, and I'm confused because this one doesn't have a clasp. Unless I missed it, which is very likely. No, no clasp. Why is it stuck on there? It's wound between two thingies. Okay. Yep. Ding, ding, ding. Yay. See how happy my mood ring is? <laughs> oh, gosh, that's great. These beads are fun. 
We got some glass ones. Very pretty. I think I might try to sell that. That's a very lovely color combo. And then this jerk. <laughs> strands with balls all over and at the very end they're graduated so it's well not graduated but they're different lengths so it's hard to see what it was really doing <laughs> oh well Anyway, that's long and gold and fun. I think I'm going to leave it here. <laughs> okay, everybody, this was um, video three of the Reading, Pennsylvania 26-ish pound box of jewelry. And I'm having a great time going through all of this. And I guess I get more stubborn as the night goes on because, yeah, I'm untangling lots of fun stuff. <laughs> well, I hope you stick around. If you did stick around to the end, bravo, you did very well. And I will see you tomorrow when we do part four of the video and get some more out of this fabulous box. Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video. I've put links to my Poshmark, eBay, and anything else that may be of interest to you down in the description.